<sighs> Good morning. Night one in Canada, it was a success. Except, I think Nene will disagree. She said she woke up to the train last night a couple times. It's just right there. We didn't realize that one booking this campground. I slept through it like a rock. We have huge goals today. We're gonna drive seven hours. We don't normally do that. Actually, we hardly ever do that. M maybe I should let Nene do the explaining. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm RVing. Oh, look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> they can look at it. Don't you look at it. Okay, I don't wanna interrupt. We're in a new country, so just throwing it out there. I'll let you take it from here. You guys cool with her? I know, I know it's hard to let go of me. I, I get it, I'm comfortable, I'm warm, I'm welcoming. Thank you, but uh, I'll let Nay take it from here. Yeah. Thanks Carl for the introduction. You're stuck with me, so um, welcome to the wrath of Nay Nay on a travel day. So yeah, today's travel day, we're going like, it's gonna be a seven hour drive, over 500 kilometers, which is a little over 300 miles when I when I did the conversion. Trust me, I didn't do this in my head. But we are going for it. We're gonna drive all the way to Prince George. We are currently just south of Yale, British Columbia, and today's drive is gonna be gorgeous. What? <laughs> what you, this is subliminal messaging? Great, so we've some slides. No. Why? Because <laughs> I'm talking to my friends. Just your local slide sweeper here. Okay, so how you, much you, you charge? Need, you know what, this first one's on me, but you're gonna have to call me later. Give me a call, I like you. You know, I just might oh. give you a call later. What a guy, what a, what a nice broom too. The speed limit on today's drive is gonna be more of what our speed limit is. So the RV time, the actual drive time might be accurate to RV time. We'll let you know, I'm very curious about this. Something I'm noticing with Canada already is that they have so many rest areas. Whenever I pull up the All Stays app, there's like rest areas all along the way. So I thought that was pretty cool. They're very accommodating to travelers. And oh my gosh, there's a strange man on the roof. Ah, da, da, no, Anyway, okay, I I'm gonna totally do it. Totally. I have some more things to share that I notice that are differences between Canada and America. But first I have to finish packing up because Carl is just like rushing me. So stick around, please. to really explain it. You just need to come here. I'm so pumped to be in Canada. This is freaking spectacular. Who would have thought? I mean, everyone says Canada's beautiful, but you always think of like the big touristy places of Canada, like the Canadian Rockies, Jasper. No one talks about this random spot on this highway. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, videos just don't do justice. So apologies that you don't get to see what we're seeing. But if you're RVing, you're ever thinking of coming to Canada, but you keep putting it off because there's just always a reason to keep putting stuff off. Trust us, we know. We're finally doing Alaska because we're just sick of always having an excuse not to do it. You just gotta do it. And then once you're out here, you're gonna be so glad you did. I love that, Nay. That was really good. Cause I'm like the biggest culprit of that. I'm always like, oh well, time is just not right. So uh, the timing is never right for anything, especially if it's something adventurous. Also, when I was talking about the mile post earlier, this is what I'm talking about. Every year they come out with this like Alaska travel planner guide. The reason I'm bringing it up why you should have this is that sometimes, actually a lot of times, you're gonna lose cell phone service. So to have this resource handy is wonderful. Plus, it tells us when there's really cool stuff to pull over and look at. We're gonna be all over that today. I'm still getting used to these kilometers an hour. Hey Siri, what is 90 kilometers to miles? 90 kilometers is 55.92 miles. 55, we're at 55 right now, so we'll just keep it there. Your truck is telling you the speed limit is 62. Some of the newer trucks will like tell you the speed limit like below 
D, are you upset with me? You ladies need to play nice together. <sighs> well, we keep running into these uh, stop and go situations, which is okay with me. No complaints here. I didn't know what to expect coming to Canada. I wasn't expecting this. Like I was expecting a few things here and there of being, wow, that's really cool, but not constantly. There's a river, there's some mountains, there's an amazing bridge. It's just overload, sensory overload. I think that the biggest problem we're facing is a lot of these roads probably are exposed to a lot of washouts and landslides, especially with the cliffs being so- Cliffy. Cliffy. Vertically, that's not even a word, but we're gonna go with it. Anywho, you definitely see a lot of nets laying over the cliffs. I think it's kind of there to help just keep everything contained. Oh, we're going again. Here we go. We had to do a little switcheroo. So now you guys are stuck with Carl. Nene's over here. Hey, eyes right here. You're stuck with me. I'm gonna be your tour guide for the next 30 minutes or so. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be a no entertainment in flight service. We will not have the beverage carts out today. Wi Fi? No, nothing. If you have any complaints, direct them to the back seat. There's a fellow back there named Dexter. Uh, Sexy Dexy is our captain today. Let's all give a round of applause for a safe flight. Woo! Sexy Dexy. <laughs> we'll see where this goes. Oh, baby, we're in the thick of it now. Woo! Why do I have to do the windy roads? How come you didn't have windy roads like this? I don't know. Two hands on the wheel, though, crazy lady. Okay, I'll yell at you later. Let me focus on this. <laughs> okay. I'll be here waiting for that yelling segment. I'm just thinking, what is the Cassier Highway going to be? 37 to 16? I mean, this is like the route everyone takes to get to the Alcan Highway, but we're actually going the west route. I don't know what that means, but that sounds awesome. Stay tuned, because we're gonna get we're gonna get it done together. Please help me. Nene is driving like she's cray cray. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. There is like a 150 foot cliff just right here, right next to me. And Nene is just she's getting it, but I'm having to be the one to kind of speak over ever so slightly and. It makes for some amazing views, but it puts the nerves a little on edge, if you know what I mean. All right, our first conundrum. We have Diesel Master. Mark Diesel, which one do we fill up the truck with? We have no idea. No idea. I hope somebody knows. We'll figure this out. All right, let it rip, baby. Okay. Card not valid at pay at pump, please see last year. All right. So we gotta go pay inside now? Yeah. Hopefully this is accepted. Cause yeah. if not, we're gonna need a lot of more cash on hand. You know what I'm saying? What pump are we? One. Copy. One it is. We'll see what we $60 gets us here. I don't know. Nozzle, begin healing. Let me just clarify the difference between Mark Diesel and Master Diesel in case you're ever in a similar situation. In Canada, Mark Diesel is also known as Off-Road Diesel. This type of diesel is strictly used for things like agricultural or construction equipment. It is typically a diesel fuel that is dyed in a red color to show that it's tax-free fuel. On the other hand, master diesel is just regular diesel. So if you're ever in Canada and are confused at a truck stop, always remember master as being the one and only you want to fill up with. Yeah, I can do that. Got it? It's a learning experience, uh, huh? 60 buckaroos, here we go. Ooh. That's going fast. Yeah, but it's liters. I don't know. How much is liters? What does that mean? 20 liters. That's not gallons. I wish it was gallons. That'd be cool. All Did right. Did shut you off there? It shut me off. Okay. So we got $60 and 35 liters. I don't know what that means. But that's 60 Canadian dollars. Yeah. Which would be like 40-ish. United States dollars. Okay. Well, oh, sorry. Let's do, let's do it. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So we were at like half a tank, weren't we? Yeah, half a tank. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. So we would need to do double that. 
So 120 for half a tank. Maybe like 240 Canadian dollars for a full tank. At least here. Yeah. We'll have to do that map later. Ooh. Let's grab a snack in here and I'll use the restroom. Okay. Great. I got the money. You don't spend it all. I got some loonies and toonies. Really? Well, I don't know which one's which, but I, it was like a dollar twenty-five and change. Uh huh. And I got all these. So you don't know which ones? Wow. I do not. Well, this is twenty-five cents. That's a dollar, and this is a dollar. Two dollars. They don't have dollar bills. They have like coins that are dollars. So this wow. is one dollar. This is two dollars, and this is twenty-five cents. So we got this. All you gotta do is go over right one time. We're going fifty-five right now. Go down to metric. And boom! <laughs> Don't go so fast! We're going 85! Babe, stop speeding. Ugh, I can't help it. Pedal to the metal. Can you put it where I can see it on the main screen? You got it, girlfriend. Uh, 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 uh. Now you're going 96, 95. That is so cool. And it shows that the below there, it shows that it's 100, uh, the 100 speed limit is 100 kilometers per hour right now. So that's pretty cool. So if you're ever wondering if that's an option on your truck, go looking through the settings. Find that little gear icon, and usually it's like somewhere hidden within those features. I am getting a little bit chilly. Oh my goodness, you got... Oh, I forgot when we set the whole thing. It's going to change everything in the... Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? Check this out. No wonder we're freezing. It's 19 and 21 degrees in here right now. <laughs> I'm guessing here what this means. Now I gotta Google what 21 degrees Celsius is. Siri, help! A lot of you guys are looking to get into travel nursing and RV, of course, travel nursing. That's something to know that you're gonna go to hospitals and they might do things completely backwards. Like instead of taking temperatures with Fahrenheit, they do Celsius and or vice versa. Write that one down. It's one for the books. Oh my goodness, D gained a whole bunch of mileage. Look at that, 138,000. <laughs> the one thing that drives me nuts about GMC, or at least my year at GMC, is it does not have a DEF fuel gauge. So the diesel exhaust fluid, it will just pop up a warning eventually saying you only have 300 miles to empty. You only have 150 miles to empty. But that sensor is always so inaccurate because it just popped up exhaust fluid low speed limited soon so we have to pull over ahead of time so i can get underneath this hot engine and fuel up the def see the thing is with the def once it goes out it throttles your speed so it forces you to you know get it addressed now another problem is that we've been having is most of the fuel stations don't have def at the pumps or at least not that i've noticed as of yet so i'm gonna have to take that into consideration maybe when we're at walmart stock up a little bit with the DEF being under the hood, it just gets everywhere. If it's a windy day, it will just blow all over the engine compartment. It just doesn't look good as you're seeing. I'm not excited necessarily to want to get a new truck, but I am excited to hopefully one day have the DEF next to the fuel. It's the little things that make all the differences. As we continued our journey northward, our adventure lacked any unexpected incidents which you will hear no complaints about from the Hanks family when it comes to a smooth ride without crazy mishaps taking place. One thing we always like to say is to plan ahead during trips to try to kill two birds with one stone. One example might be making a quick stop to pick up groceries during travel days. Now today we figured since we were driving so stinking far, we should stop by our first Canadian Walmart to pick up a few items. This really helps to decrease the stress of the travel days since we won't have to arrive to an RV park late unhook and then finally drive back to the grocery store. It's really a simple yet effective way to save on time so that we could focus more on our adventures. Except I noticed that they didn't have any half gallon milk in there and I don't know if that's throughout all of Canada or just this Walmart in particular. Only one gallon. Our first Canadian grocery order. Gotta watch that cholesterol. I'm trying to clean my cholesterol down. <laughs> oh, I'm so freaking tired. It's like such a long travel day. I think we still have like three hours to go. Here we go. Here's some eggs. Wow, these mosquitoes are huge already. Oh no. I think they're only gonna get worse. Like in as we go into Alaska? 
Oh no. Okay, these bushes next to us and the mosquitoes, there's gonna it's gonna be the death of us. Ugh, I love pull through sites. I get to just sit here in the car. And we got a John in front of us. What's up, John? Porta John? Porta John John. Nice to meet you. I'm Porta John, but you can call me P John. P John. Home sweet home. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we made it. Okay, the time is 5 30 and we left at 8 in the morning mm. so with all the breaks we took and then a good break for lunch and letting him eat hey don't rub your eyes you're gonna oh. you're gonna push your eyeballs into your socket shoot i should get that yeah let's not do that yeah. we'll sit here and let you set up i sis. looked in the rear view mirror and the trailer's like oh my god it's so it's so lopsided <laughs> with those andersons out